And uh, welcome back to another Music Monday. Joe's top dot have been off for a minute. Switched up jobs. Got a few things going on, but I'm back now. Stronger than ever, you know what I mean? Some new topics, new little things. So tonight, uh, not tonight. Today, tonight, where we part of the land you in, we're going to talk about this is Takashi 6 9 and where he went wrong. First, I like to break it down like 1 through 5, but we ain't going to do 1 through 5 today. We're going to do, basically, we're just going to do PowerPoints. Uh, first off, he messed up by entering the life that he had no business about. He should have did just a little bit more studying, though, because when you don't do your studies, then you don't get facts about whatever subject or situation you're going through or you have to deal with. He didn't do research on nine trade bloods. He also didn't do research on how being with them could probably not look as good as you wanted to look and land you in some type of trouble which he's in right now. Um is that a cover for him snitching? Nah, we're gonna get to that later on. But moving on. He also should have did research on the person that got him in there. AK Shoddy, AK the male murders and all them cats. He should have did research on them and seen what them cats was about because if you look at it in a nutshell, Shoddy may have got fifteen years and he was screaming he don't fold, he don't bend, that's Treyway, all that. Okay, cool. Um that he's still doing about fifteen. Um I don't think, excuse me. Hmm. All right, my fault. I don't think uh, Mr. Hernandez is going to get that much time. But you see, Shoddy did. Pretty sure Mel, he probably going to get a little bit more because he's dealing with drugs and murder. So he might get a substantial amount of time. But either way it go, the people that he was naming off and the interview that I heard, because, yeah, I'm like everybody else. I heard the audio leak. I heard all 10 minutes of the first one. I read transcripts of it and everything. And yeah, it looks horrible. It sounds horrible. All in a nutshell, it's horrible. Um, also, if you if you look at it, he also should have done research on the area he was in too. Cause maybe he wasn't akin or accustomed to the area that he was in. But either way it go, you should have did research, period before he stepped out there and did all that. Real street cats already know. You keep the lay of the land before you go and do anything. If you're going to commit a robbery, what do you do? You scale out you scale out the joint, see what's going on. You know what I mean? See how everything is moving, and then you make your moves off, off of that. But he didn't. So he just hopped into the head first, didn't know what was going on, and he was all hypey with it. Uh, two him running his mouth let's get to that let's just knock that out the way because that's the meat of the video um him running his mouth and what i say about him running his mouth is when he got up in there i'm pretty sure he found out some things that he needed to know about the situation that he was in i'm pretty sure he was like uh, at some point in time he probably was like i don't think i need to be in this situation because it don't seem too good the cats that was with him already had pegged him as some little softy. So they was like, we just going to extort him and shake him down left and right. You've seen Shotty. Shotty was living the millionaire's dream off a dude. He was underhanding and undercutting uh, deals and everything. And then on top of that, he going behind his back, I guess, mopping his baby mama now. I don't know if that's true, how true that is. I don't know if she did or she didn't, but from what everybody, the masses are saying, yeah. They went ahead and bumped the uglies and it was like that. So, I guess they was like, oh, well, you know, he got extorted. It was pegging him for a softy, so they was like, oh, well, we just gonna get him for everything he got right here. Now, what he should've did was peep the lay of the land, got some of them people that was kinda cool within that organization that knew what he was doing, got up under the day wing and just chilled out instead of sitting there representing the shoddies and the male matrix and all of them of the groups he should have just been chilling out with all the, the somewhat decent folks I guess you know I 
I guess it was a few people that was trying to do that, but he didn't want to be around them. He wanted to be around the Yoohoo's that didn't know what they was doing with themselves. So he had, he's at where he's at right now and he's going through what he's going through because of the situation that he made previous to the actions that he took. But that don't cover up the simple fact that that boy is sitting on that stand and telling on everybody because he consciously made a decision that I'm going to do this and I'm going to go through with this. Them hits that I'm going to put out on people, I'm going to consciously do that. He must have known his consequences if you get caught for putting hits out on people. That's espionage, sir. I mean, not espionage, I'm sorry. That is, is premeditated um, assault, premeditated murder if you were to kill them, basically. It's premeditated, premeditated murder. If somebody would have got killed as a result of him ordering a hit, that's mafia style and that's crime organization type things and they're not finna just let you get away with that. You can't just go and put hits out on people. Uh, two, the money thing. When he was talking about everybody was um, taking his money left and right. That's because you're not financially or fiscally intelligent enough to know that certain times you get certain deals, certain deals you get certain percentages, certain people get certain percentages as long as they're in your faculty or around who you around or if you just want to do them like MC Hammer did and just pay the people that's around you just so you can keep them off the streets. You have to have an accountant for all of that. You have to have a lawyer to help you just in case somebody mess with your image and everything and you need to go ahead and hit them with the court, the lawsuit and the court papers. But no, he decided full heartedly I'm finna go against all of that, rep this gang, shoot these guns, rob these people, talk this mess, shoot at these certain people, follow these certain people, beat up these certain people, you know, start all these kind of wars in different cities. Basically like an unruly gang, they going around in different cities, you know what I'm saying, talking this, talking that, disrespecting the people of that city and everything like that. And then when it come out like, ah, you know what I'm saying, we trade away, we in New York, ah, catch us if you can over here, but Y'all going to other people's cities and states disrespecting them, so gotta expect retaliation. So, for me, I don't feel too sp uh, sorry for him when he in that stand telling on every damn body. Uh, what I feel for is everybody who subsequently didn't have nothing to do with this, and now the people that I was providing for them is gone, or they was just inadvertently caught in the stray bullets of BS that Mr. Hernandez is, is shooting off right now. And all the reason I'm saying all of that because I'm not saying that he's wrong for telling or he's right for telling. That's not me. I wouldn't have done it if I, I'm a stand-up person. If I did something, I'm going to stand up for him and I'm not going to say that nobody else did it. I'm going to take full time for whatever I did knowing that's what I did because I was in that position to do it or I thought I could get away with it, but then I kind of got burnt, so now I got to pay the consequences. As a man, that's what you got to do. You don't supposed to basically turn around and tell everybody, uh, basically telling the damn candy lady because you finna get in trouble. So you like, okay, they telling you, hold on once again. Yeah. Sorry about that. You ain't gotta tell her. Uh, you gotta tell him the candy lady. Uh, telling her she's selling illegal pops and chips and stuff because now you got caught with a bag of candy and you weren't supposed to have it. That's not the way the game go. So, to me, where he went wrong at was he didn't really heed signs. He ignored all of the spoiler warnings and just went ahead and tried to see the movie for you know tried to see the movie without knowing what the cast or the characters was and not knowing what his role was sufficiently as that person so he got caught up in all of this stuff and you can't sit on no stand and point fingers at everybody else just take it like a man and say hey my father now on a side note too as well 
I'm half and half on when he get out. I'm half and half thinking that he got his foot too far down the rabbit hole to pull it out. But also I'm thinking he still got one foot free. Because when he get out, I'm pretty sure the only thing he has to do is make a few records, hop on Instagram or something, and start talking crazy and watch how many people vie for him. Watch how many people say, oh, yeah, if I was in that same position, I'd do that too. Cool. There's a lot of people that be in that position that wouldn't. And don't look at the people that wouldn't and that would take the responsibility for something that they did and had a part of and something to do with and not basically say, hey, the other person did something worse than me, so y'all should just forget about what I did and put all of that extra attention on that person. Because that person's little crime is bigger than my littler crime. You know, it's something like that to that fact. So, where Takashi went wrong was trying to play a role that he had no business applying for. He was in a movie that he should not have been in in at all. The script was messed up from the jump. The camera's angles was wrong. The whole thing was scripted for his demise and what did he do he in subsequently jumped in the role and played it well and he ain't even an actor y'all but that's just what I'm saying man he kind of messed up he snitched or he's snitching still um to try to get out on the side note too as well it was kind of crazy that he started snitching right after. Well, actually, it wasn't crazy. Because I told people the same thing. I said, he's, he's probably going to snitch as soon as they catch him. As soon as they say, hey, man, listen, you got 50 years to life. Or you could just tell him to everybody because we know you ain't have nothing to do with the drugs, really. We know you ain't have doing nothing to do with the shootings, the murders, or the robberies, really. We just know you just had something to do with all the, the hanky-panky. And not that type of hanky panky, but you know, you had you was the, the the rough housing. You was horse playing too much, and you broke Ma's window. Now y'all gotta cover it up and say that somebody threw a rock through it or something like that. We you ain't have nothing to do with all of that. So to help yourself out, since you're a father and you're still young, you don't want to spend forty. You don't want to spend fifty. To 60 to 70, 80, 90 years uh, in prison. So, why don't you just go ahead and give us some names, tell us some stuff that happened. If you give us enough information, we might just go ahead and slide your little charges all the way under the rug, which they did uh, last year or earlier this year. So, y'all keep doing the signs, man. Stay woke, man. If you're doing something up, up out here in these streets and you finna get caught for it, just remember, if you're going to tell on somebody, make sure them people, I mean, I don't even know. I don't even know. If you're going to tell on somebody, then just think about how you're affecting people outside of that. But if that person, I guess, is that evil or something like that, then I guess do it. But I'm saying, if you take full responsibility for whatever you do, don't get caught in no situation where you're going to have to tell on nobody, man. And it is what it is, man. Until next Monday, man. I want to thank y'all for joining me. The videos is finna come back steady now, so don't worry. I'm back on schedule, doing things how I'm supposed to be doing things, man. Thank y'all for sticking with me. Still growing. Let's try to get to this thousand before the end of the year. And it is what it is, man. Share, like, subscribe. Till next Monday. Peace.